Now we're good. Yeah, no, YouTube always takes a little bit to get yeah. in. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. All right, so, got a big meal tonight, a big messy meal with no napkins, so, got the good old uh, <laughs> fashion washcloth. Good old fashion washcloth. <laughs> I, uh, I have been craving chicken a la vodka for a couple weeks now, and I was going to do the, um, what is it called, the, uh, the pizza made out of a, a chicken instead of using dough, because I've never done that before, and I keep on seeing videos. So I'm like, all right, I'll do that. And then it got super late. I, we didn't start. It got before. super late really quick. We didn't start cooking until like 10.30 tonight. So I made a chicken parm a la vodka, a homemade sauce, which I'm excited for because I didn't weigh anything out. I just kind of winged it, but I think it's going to be really good. Hello, Mama Llama. Hey, Mama Llama. How you doing, girl? Um, and then I got this... Uh, Hello, Jamie. How you doing, girl? Big old-fashioned uh, garlic bread. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Mama Llama. So I was supposed to have um, sweet potato fries, but the oven got way too crowded for all of our food, so I didn't make those. So I just made two turkey burgers that I, that I stuffed with... Um, mm, feta cheese? No, feta cheese, spinach, and... Um, garlic, lettuce and tomato, and tzatziki sauce. So this is just like a, um, like a gyro burger. Gyro burger. Looks good. It, look, it looks really good. This pan, we'll see. it's an illusion. I mean, I, so I usually have a side, but this is so big and it's going to be messy and I have a busted lip, so I don't, I didn't think this through to be honest with you. Um... <laughs> I might get some color tonight as I'm eating. <laughs> uh, turkey burgers, yeah. Yeah, What's these upstairs? turkey burgers. Are, oh, I put jalapeno in there too. There's jalapenos in there as well. I'm super excited for this. I mean, I really wanted the sweet potato fries, but whatever. No, we're going to do... These are going to be really good. I have a feeling super good. I think this is all I'm going to need. I, it's funny because my uh, my buddy who's a, uh, a chef, or he was a chef... He, Hello, um, Emmy. How you doing, girl? There she is. What's up, Emmy? Uh, how you doing, girl? Um, he, uh, I did a video with him last year. He came over and I made him a tuna melt. Uh, Al, he did some video today where he was eating sweet potato fries. I'm like, geez, I haven't had sweet potato fries in a minute. <laughs> so we're probably going to do Sloppy Joe's tomorrow night with sweet potato fries. I did not bring any food to work. Can you spare a burger? I am starved. Listen, if you can reach through and grab it, grab it. Take it. It's yours. Mm. Take it. It's yours. It's all yours. It's a loaded question, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Worst wrestler of all time? In my opinion. We need to hang out. Emmy, you we're are gonna... not wrong, girl. We need to hang out. Emmy, we're going to... I don't want to wait for the... Uh... I don't want to wait for... Uh... <laughs> oh, fast and bastard. <laughs> Hey Pete. So I always win. I'm the winner. I don't want to wait ding, till ding. A a Arthur <laughs> Ashe over the summer for AEW. So me and Kaki are working on setting some things up, and you're gonna be the first to know. Promise, Scout's honor, and I'm no scout. Neither am I. No, but still, you know what? No Scout's scout. honor sounds. It sounds good. <sighs> What's up, Pudge? Hello, Pudge. How you doing? I still didn't answer. Worst wrestler of all time. Um, Hello, and, Matthew. Can I say somebody that I just personally, like, never enjoyed watching, but love him now and appreciate him now? I can tell you my least favorite wrestler of all time who uh, I wound up... Why not? Give reasoning. I'm going to give re Well, because I couldn't stand watching him. My, a lot of people say this, but um, he's one of uh, my favorites that I enjoy watching now, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> and no, in no way, shape, or form is he a, was he ever considered a bad wrestler. He was just my least favorite to watch. <sighs> What's up, Mr. Infamous? Hello, Marks. Hello, Marks. What are you having, Khaki? So I made... Um, a turkey burger 
It's like a Greek style turkey burger with sauteed spinach, here. onions, yeah. and jalapenos, and feta cheese. Lettuce tomato on buns with some tzatziki sauce. Hey, Cortland. Hello, Court. I joke. I didn't even see your first comment. I missed it, too. Hey, Brown That's eyes. because TikTok hey, didn't display it. Court, TikTok didn't tell you. <laughs> hey, you TikTok know what? did not let you post your first comment. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of TikTok, tonight's video. Hello, brown eyes. If the song doesn't fit, oh my gosh, I've had such a hard time picking a song to match tonight's video. I'm like, wow, they really. Bob Backlund? I like Bob Backlund. I, I always like Bob Backlund. Court, I could only imagine what your first comment said. You know, you can just text me what you said. Because <laughs> honestly, I really want to know. <laughs> the fact that TikTok filtered it, I want to know. I love the videos. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you, Brown Eyes, for the gifts. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much. What the hell is that, Jamie? It's a uh, chicken parm, alavaca style. <clears throat> Should be good. It's going to be. Chicken alavaca hero. Yeah, it's going to be messy. John, I posted the video on IG and TikTok. But now. Massive, bigger than my head, or maybe the same size as my head. Probably the same size as your head. <laughs> Still, it's huge. All right, well, I'll be honest with you. I'm not saying your head's big or anything, but it used to be big when it shouldn't have. I should not have had a big head. That's a sandwich. Oh my god, I want to buy that. Yeah, me too, Emmy. But I'll get a bite. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> oh, the sound of that bread. That's a baby sandwich? For what kind of baby? I'm so offended. <laughs> oh my god, I wish Gord. I could cook stuff like you do. <laughs> oh, gee, Zach, honestly, if I didn't have my better half and it was like a stranger, like someone that doesn't know it, their way around the kitchen, you'd be seeing a different product. I mess up all the time, and she corrects me and says, "Don't do that. You got to do it this way." <laughs> so, uh, without without Kagi, there's no this. I'd be oh my goodness, I'd be lost. Listen, if if there wasn't a khaki tonight, Jamie, I think would have probably given himself food poisoning. <laughs> well. Let me give you guys a... <laughs> to be quite honest. Let me... Uh, oh, I'll get into that one. Let me give you guys a, a, an example of what happened. I don't touch raw meat. I don't touch poultry. I don't I do not do that. But I did tonight. He doesn't touch anything that's raw. Ever. Perfect example. Why? I um, was pushing the breadcrumbs into the chicken. And then instead of washing my hands, I immediately grabbed the breadcrumbs cans. <laughs> Gaggy finished the video. And then she, as soon as she stopped it, she goes... And you cross-contaminated. I was like, you just cross-contaminated <sighs> half the shit in this kitchen. I'm like, you touch the chicken, you touch this, you touch... I was like... <sighs> so I had to go clean everything. Yes, Court. <laughs> hey, Lisa. <laughs> but I'm biting into my burger now. My little green... Mine's good. I need, I need salt, though. I need salt. Yes, I do. Oh, what well, yeah. I'd probably be dead in a week if I... Why the chips in the freezer? Somebody already answered you, but we'll answer you anyway. So if you stick your chips in the freezer, they taste so much better. You gotta leave them in for at least 24 hours. At least though. a day. Oh, shit balls. What did I do? There we go. You know, wash the chicken and start over. <sighs> Hi, Kelly. I just answered you. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you did. Alright. Anybody that is afraid to put their chips in the freezer, you have nothing to lose. They, it doesn't ruin the chips. And if you don't like the way they taste, guess what? In 20 minutes, they'll be back to normal. So and I don't see why you wouldn't like the way that they taste, honestly, because it tastes better in the freezer. Everybody that tries it because of me responds with a message. Um, however long later, dude, game changer. It's so good. Just wipe it all down with light salt. We threw the can out. Kagi put it in a, mm -hmm. a, a sandwich baggie. Ooh. 
Where do you think I'm going to go with this rating? I don't know, but I'm telling you right now, mine's a 10. Oh, yeah? So much better in the freezer? I know. I, you know, I mean, I never would have realized that if it wasn't for my mom. <laughs> no, Court. Oh, yes, I do. Who eats cold sausage, Pete? Come on. I like it hot and juicy. You're damn right about that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, who the hell eats cold sausage? I like mine hot and juicy, too. Best and bastard. I'm pretty sure you don't eat cold sausage, either. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure you don't. Uh, Jamie, what are you eating? A oh. chicken parmigiana. But with instead of regular sauce, I made a homemade vodka with sauce. With vodka sauce. Hello, Mary. How you doing, girl? Hot and Juicy was my nickname in college. Very cool. I didn't go to college. <laughs> I didn't even finish school. I never I went did. back. There you go, Munch uh, Emmy. Hello, Monica. Uh, Double J. I love Jeff. I love Jeff Jarrett now, but he was my least favorite wrestler as a kid. I've been putting chips in the freezer for months now since I saw you do it. Legit game changer. I know. I don't know why people just don't try it. Hey, Mary. Hello, dear. Hello, Karen. All right. I don't know where I'm going with this rating. It's not high. Really? No, because... I feel like I didn't season the chicken enough. Uh, Jamie's nickname was $10 Booty. That's too cheap, number one. Number two, I actually did have a, a nickname in high school called Waffle. Muncho Man, Yabba Dabby Dance Machine. <sighs> Couch. Oh my god. <laughs> My three-year-old grandson got a hold of a full bag of flour while I was on the phone. All of the, oh my god, Mary, I can't imagine. <laughs> That's never happened to me. 11th grade, John? Ever. I did. <laughs> my senior year is when I did it. I can't imagine one of my kids getting a hold of a bulk, full bag of flour. Mm -mm. I'd be cleaning that shit for like weeks. Yeah. No way. I'm sorry, Mary. What's up, Deep Power? You're going to be cleaning that shit for weeks. <laughs> yeah, do you want to try mine or no? You don't have to. I, do, I, I, I don't think it's anything special. But I Actually, think... I do want to try yours because I really think it's probably really good. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just, it's missing something. I think my taste buds have been messing with me all week. Nah, $10 swallow, that's a good one. You're about to put your man in the freezer? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get a knife or are you going to pick it up? No, I'll just pick it up and bite it. Damn, girl, do you know how to eat a sandwich? You, you, why would you why would you do that? You don't hold it from here and let it flop. You hold it bottom? Well, that was tomato skin. No, no, no. You hold it from the bottom and you hold it from the top. Therefore, it doesn't flop out. It feels like it's missing salt. Yeah. It's so. definitely missing salt. Uh, holy moly, Jamie, that's a damn spare tire. <laughs> that's a big one. Kelly, let him chill. <laughs> I received my journeyman's license, and I said, see ya. And it worked out for you, John, because you're successful. You retired early. I know your story. Wish I would have been a little bit smarter when I was younger. Hello, Mr. Jimmy Jan. Hello, Mr. Jimmy Jan. We're reading your comment right now. Go ahead, read it out loud. Every time Kat was coming over, she said she was coming over to the Waffle House. Your love for syrup makes so much more sense now that Mr. and Mrs. Waffle, it's about all that icky sticky drip. <laughs> Didn't he put salt in the, the video? <laughs> I did, but not enough. I seasoned only one side of the chicken. And I realized that... After uh, I put it in the uh, in the pan, the khaki's like you didn't side you didn't season the other side. And I said oh, it'll be all right because the plan was the sauce to be overly seasoned. And it's just not the case. What did it you rate it, Jamie? Case. I didn't rate it. 
Nothing yet, Mary. I'm thinking like an 8.2. It's been a while, girl. Cheers. What's up, Thunder Buns? Cheers, Kelly. Cheers, girl. Ah, tell me when I'm telling lies. When Kaki came over my apartment <laughs> for the very first time, it was like she never left. And not on her doing. Because you didn't want me to leave. No, I did not. No, I did not. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with 8.2. Um, when me and Kaki first started dating, and I've said this before, I thought it was going to be a quick fling. I was just getting out of a relationship. I wasn't looking for anything. And you have, you know how the old cliche saying goes, when you're not looking, it finds you. It finds you. And, uh, yeah, that was 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. Almost 18 years ago. I could go in graphic detail what I expected <laughs> in the be very beginning and how opposite it was. <laughs> <laughs> me and Kaki started dating and uh, she was going to come with me on a road trip to a wrestling event when I was wrestling. I had this we weren't dating yet. We weren't even dating, but she was going to come with me and I had this plan. But I did go with you. You did go with me. And... Uh, Everything that I thought was gonna happen did not happen. And Everything went like I wound up seeing Kaki every single shit. day. Yeah. <laughs> we ended up getting a flat tire. Remember? Flat tire. Jamie didn't know how to change a flat tire. In Brooklyn. In Queens. <laughs> oh, Queens, whatever. <laughs> and we pulled into a McDonald's and like these guys like changed your tire. Yeah, paid them twenty bucks to <laughs> They could have killed us because they, they didn't. They could have killed us because they didn't tighten the luck nuts all the way. So we could have like literally died on the way home. Yeah. Not cool. But. I that just start looking at this point. I just want to be left alone part. I feel you on the le being left alone part. I don't mean that towards Jamie. I just mean in general. I just want to be left alone. <laughs> I don't mean it towards Jamie at all. Have you ever been splatted? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I love your videos. I gain weight just watching. Well, that's not good. Well, I'm sorry, Albert. Exactly. When you stop looking, that's when they, they appear. Jamie was looking to wrap it, tap it, and quit it instead. It was tied to the bed Kathy Bates style. <laughs> has been ruining... Has been running with a GPS ankle bracelet ever since that <laughs> claims her <their> property. <laughs> yeah, pepperoni might be good. <coughs> Hell that yes, Jimmy Jam. Where Hell yes. Gets folded High five. Up. Perfect comment. Comment of Jimmy Jam wins comment of the night. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've ever taken that. Comment of the night goes to Jimmy Jam. <laughs> I've been buns up many times in a wrestling ring, but. To go into the like, the, like it's where they grab your legs and your your buns are up in the air. I've had that done before, but yeah, funny stories. This shit that we, it's funny. We've been doing this show every single night for six and a half years, <laughs> and we've been together for eighteen years. And there are so many stories that, surprisingly enough, we never have ever talked. Yeah, about Yeah, we on never here. talked about a lot of them. <laughs> And we got lots of them. This Jimmy Jam is one funny guy. Oh, I know Jimmy Jam. You don't got to tell me. I already know you're a funny guy. <laughs> he's all right. No, he's a funny guy. He's all right. He's all right. He's, he's like, uh, he's like, he thinks he's all that in a bag of chips. He's not. Mm. He's not. <laughs> I think he kind of is. <laughs> I give him his, his flowers when it's due. He's pretty funny. I need to check out the video for this one. It looks good. It's 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 eight point two. I don't think I'm budging with my rating. More like no one else would put up with his ass. <laughs> well, Pete. Listen, I don't know who else would put up with my ass because I'm not very nice to freaking live with. To be honest, I mean, Jamie won't say it, but I, I'll tell you right now, I'm a pain in the ass. I still, I still say, like, Kaki's going to win the lotto and then leave me. 
And she's always like, why do you always say I want to leave you? I don't know how she puts up with me because I know how I get. He literally I know how said I, it when I played freaking Mega Millions. I said, millions. <laughs> I said you're going to win. When I won $2. Money. Whoop, whoop. Big winner. Won $2. <laughs> Bought two scratch-offs. Bought two scratch-offs, right, at ShopRite. Click the little buttons for them. Bent down to pick them up. And somebody forgot, like, their Mega Millions, like, ticket in there. Like, that goes off on Friday. And I was like, oh, that's mine, too. Yeah. So watch me win. That'd be great. <laughs> and that's why I said, and then you usually, and then. Watch me win on Friday for a ticket that I didn't purchase. That would be hilarious. You know what it is? And I think this is what it comes down to. I think that Kathy's too good for me. Now, she's going to say, no, I'm not. That's not true. Don't say that. Stupid. I think I'm stuck in my old ways thinking like, because I'm very spoiled, I'm very stubborn, I'm very, you know, things have to be done my way. And I feel like sometimes you don't like, she doesn't say anything, but she kind of just like, I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't say that I hate you. I'm like, I hate the mess that this motherfucker makes for me to clean up. That's what I say to myself. <laughs> Because sometimes, like, he cooks and he's just like, freaking shit's flying everywhere. I'm just like, tonight, breadcrumbs, chicken. Sir, I have to clean this up. Can we not make a giant freaking mess? Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, well, she's like, before I do the oven tonight, do you promise you're not going to make a mess? I said, promise. And then I don't know what it was. Please minute. don't make a mess on the stove because <laughs> I just cleaned it. He made a mess on the stove. Hello, Kenny. Hmm. Wow, this came out so freaking good. But I really can't taste the jalapeno, though. Was it chicken or fish? Chicken. Hi, just tuning, tuning in. Epic sub, thank you very much. How are you, bro? I'm good, Kenny. How are you? 18 years is a long time. It's all ironed out, and it's all good. Yeah, I'd like to think me and Kaki is uh, as strong as, you know, steel, but I'm still, I don't know, I just think, uh, the mess is a part of the production, do you want to come and clean it? <laughs> you guys don't. Do you want to come and clean it? I've shared videos of us setting up and breaking down, but for real, if you didn't see like a 60 second video and you saw from... The time I get home from my run and come downstairs and shower and all that, <laughs> all the way up until the time we're eating, talking to you guys, <clears throat> and then <clears throat> half an hour to an hour after we're done, you'd be like, holy shit, and you, <clears throat> and you do this every single night, every night, every night, every night, <laughs> every single night, but you take off Sundays, right? Every night. <laughs> What she make? Jalapeno burgers? Turkey burgers. No, I made a turkey burger with spinach, feta cheese, and jalapeno. And then I put some tzatziki sauce on here with some tomato and lettuce. Hey, Munchkin. Oh, my mouth. How you doing, my girl? I'm going to get a fork because I'm about tired about my hands being dirty. One more bite of being a pig, and then I'm going to clean my hands and get a fork and a knife. This is like one of the best burgers I've ever made. And I did the Jimmy Jam method with the whole bunch of onions in there. Because Jimmy Jam, I never stole your recipe. Never stole it. I borrowed it, but I always said that it was yours. I just started adding more things to it. say this in the very beginning um we're probably gonna cut this tonight short because we're both really uh i'm we, exhausted no 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 we both had to get up very early tomorrow i mean you might be tired you, were, you worked today as did i be creative it's always fun i tried jimmy jam but this is your turkey burger recipe i just started adding more shit to it
Crisco has a good turkey burger. Crisco, huh? I haven't had a turkey burger in well over a year. I just like making my own. You put whatever in it, you season it how you want it. My sauce is sweet. Because you put a whole bunch of basil paste in there. Mmm. Chicken came out good. <laughs> I'm not against women totally gray. Thank you, Court. <laughs> Chicken came out very good. Costco. So if we're gonna do, do you wanna do sloppy joes tomorrow night? No. I'm gonna do sloppy no. joes tomorrow night. If you stopped doing lives, what do you think you would miss more? More than what? Kelly, I'm sorry, Mary. Mary. If we stop eating live, what would we miss? Well, if we decided to stop doing our live streams after doing this every single night, no matter what, for the last six and a half years, um, we would be forced to talk to each other. <laughs> well, we just probably would. Super joke. Just a joke. <laughs> no, I say this all the time. Um, we wouldn't eat dinner with each other every night. I'm a night owl when it comes to eating. And Kaki would take full advantage of not having to shoot videos with me and probably go to sleep early. So I think well. if we stopped doing this live show, me and Kaki's bond would probably get a little bit more, um, a little weaker. And, you know, I like the interaction. I like hearing feedback. I like talking with people that I've never met before do something every single day or I'm sorry every single night for six and a half years it's not as easy as you might think it, it is to just snap your fingers and stop it's a it's a fucking and I don't you know I like doing this I look forward to doing this I think about this every single day <gasps> and all the food would go to waste. <laughs> well, if we stopped doing this, there would be no food to go to waste. But none of this goes to waste. We eat it all. Yeah. What Jamie said. Jamie nailed it. Their relationship grew with the stream yeah. versus being distracted by the TV while eating. Exactly. Me and Haggy's relationship was not the greatest before. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't. Yeah, no, Court, freaking four years just flew by. Four years just went whoop, right by. I said this like a couple of weeks ago. Before me and Kaki were streaming, we were always close, but we got, we did this weight loss journey together. Mm -hmm. We became, um... Well, we started doing the weight loss thing together, but we weren't like streaming the eating. Yeah, we, I was. In the beginning, no, not in the very beginning. First off, I started losing weight first, and then you jumped on board. Yes, I know. Yeah. What I'm saying is we were, once we started doing this together, and it was an every night thing, our relationship got a lot tighter. Of course it did. Yeah. we had something to bond on. Yeah. Not that we didn't have children or anything to bond on, but... There's a lot You know, after you have kids, it's completely different. And you need to find something else besides the kids to bond on. You need to find, like, your happy place, I guess. Yeah, well, this kind of rejuvenated our relationship. Yeah, it did. And guess Big what? Time. It seems to be, like, and I guess we're, like, on a lucky patch uh, when it comes to what I'm about to say. But we keep on finding ways to spice up our fucking relationship. And it's working well. And then someone said, someone, people make living on TikTok. We're not those people. No, nope, we're we not. Don't, we don't make a dime from TikTok. The only money we make from TikTok is when people gift us. And even that, that's like, you're talking about 13 bucks a month, if that. You have great chemistry. Yes, Lisa Marie, yes, we do. We have great chemistry. We don't make any money on social media. Yeah, we make zero money no, here. This is not, all pure fun for us. <laughs> it would be nice. It would 100% be nice to know... And, I've, and, I, uh, and I'm always telling Kagi, I'm like, if this was our job, can you imagine how much, like, how much more production would step up? It would be, 
ten times better than what it actually is. You know, because there wasn't a nine to five to go to. We everything was focused on this and yeah. our family. Like if this was our job, this would be crazy. But this would be awesome if this was our job, but it's not. It's like a relationship in life. It needs spunk. And the stream created the spunk, including motivating you guys to go out and do city nights as people push you to treat yourselves and something else. Gotcha. Uh, Excuse me. Yeah, you're not wrong, Jimmy Jam. You're correct. 100%. Yeah. Miss the music? Me too, Lisa. Yeah, half of my freaking TikTok videos have no music anymore. I'm sure I didn't even look at mine. I went scrolling through mine. Good damn! It's like, hey, replace the music. I'm like, no. I like the music I first put to it. Thank you. But now I have to replace it. Nope. It's going to go without sound. Whatever. Don't care. Think of the variety of food you have. You used to be a leftover guy. I was never a leftover guy. I was the same food every night guy. Yeah. Fat he, man. Jamie never ate leftovers. <laughs> I've never been a leftover He's guy. He's never been a leftover person, ever. Even, like, before we started streaming, Jamie never ate leftovers. Mm -hmm. I was a leftover person. I like the leftovers. Uh, especially when it was, like, sauce and meatballs and stuff like that. Like, that comes, that tastes better, like, the next day. And the quality of your life. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I could pinpoint. I think even you, Jimmy Jam, would be surprised. Uh, <coughs> so. Kagi's my best friend and I'm her best friend. There's no, there's no denying that one. But. And that's how it's been for a long time. But. Probably this last year. Year and a half. I would say, I don't know, I'm kind of weird because I've my feelings have changed a lot towards Khaki in a better way, towards my dad in a better way. Um, maybe I'm growing up a little bit upstairs, but um, romantically, me and Khaki has never been more, you know, what's the word? Um, Hot for each other. <laughs> hot for each other, more like <laughs> having fun in that way. And like I said, we're going on almost 18 years. 18 years of September. Hell yes. There's a guy on here that eats fruit every night. Over 8 <laughs> You saw me viewers. smiling on, yes. Yes, you did. Right now, doesn't have to work. Uh, yeah, Dana, we don't, you know... You also can't believe what people say on the internet. There's a lot of people that try to... Sometimes you have to take it with a grain of salt. Because honestly, what they're saying probably isn't really 100% true. A lot of people fake it to they make it kind mm -hmm. of deal. Exactly. And I'm not saying this person that eats the fruit every night does that. Um, but at the same time, there's Hell a, yes, lot, of, there's a yes. lot of people that just lie out their ass... Hell yes, my mill. And you know what? When you don't lie, you don't have to worry about being caught. Exactly. <laughs> Rate the sandwich 8.2, Brandon. It's better with a fork. <laughs> it's In a globe. Stop with a finger and cook the recipe that originates there with your own spin. Oh, that would be fun. We don't have a globe. But we don't have a globe. I was supposed to get one. <laughs> hey, Cortland, how long ago I was that? I used to have a globe. Remember we were talking about when I was like misplacing continents and all that shit? And you said, Jamie, you need a globe. And I was going to pick one up. And I never did. <laughs> I used to have a globe like back in the day. I had a globe when I was like in high school. That was almost two years ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we still don't have a globe. Every it's a good thing we have iPhones because we can pull up a globe in like it's two, not as two fun seconds. as spinning it. 
Yeah, I know. It's not as fun as spinning it like an actual globe. Google map and then put a finger down. <laughs> Well, Mary, I don't think it was just, it wasn't just out of, like, the United States. I they, they think they wanted Jamie to, like, pick a, a, a portion of the world and, like, cook a meal from there. Not just from the United States. I think that's what was the deal. In their bed now. And Jamie finally joined the bed. <laughs> oh, Jamie remember? I forgot about that. Yes, Jimmy Jam, you're not wrong. Pudge, I have it. <laughs> you're not wrong, Jimmy Jam. Sure. You are correct. <laughs> I used to sleep on the couch, and the cookie corner was no such thing. It was me eating my cookies on a, on a um, coffee table, and Khaki slept in the room with the kids, and I slept on the couch. Like a Back dog. Back in the day. And I was so mad when we got our own room, because I didn't. I don't like change. I'm like we were mad we got our own room. We could have like our own privacy and our own I didn't boom boom time. Yeah, but I didn't think about it at that time. You know, I looked at me being comfortable and being used to sleeping a certain way to now all of a sudden it's being changed. And now it's like I'm a normal person. I have my own room. <laughs> Court said Jamie needs. <laughs> Court said Jamie needs a globe. Thesaurus, dictionary, calculator, and a reliable watch. <laughs> no watches, right? <laughs> yeah, court. <laughs> he needs all of the above. <laughs> Munchkin, you're the first person to say that. Jamie, oh my god, I just noticed your hair. Are you trying the Princess Leia? No, I'm trying. I noticed it. Um, the, oh, I was gonna say earlier, you look like Princess Leia, no, but I didn't. No, no. I wasn't gonna call you out on your hair. I'm training my hair. <coughs> I got into the comb over a couple of years ago, so now no matter what I do, it doesn't matter if I'm wearing a hat or I get out of the shower, my hair goes over to this side. So I'm trying to retrain it to where it's in the middle. So what I do is I get out. Of, first, I brush my hair and I part my hair before the shower. Once I get out of the shower, I, I dry scrunchy it into, little, into buns. Uh, and then I just, I, I, I leave it like that for a little bit. I'm not going with Prince's Lair. That's not a new look. I'm just training my hair. I noticed it. I just didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't like it if you didn't say nothing. Like, what the fuck are you doing with your hair now? I just didn't know what you were doing, but I was just like... I'm just going to let you live and do what yeah, you no, want to no. do with your hair. <laughs> I'm just going to let you live. I'm sure. It, 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 they come right out. Well, I, I know. I literally thought the same thing. I'm like, oh, Princess Leia. <laughs> get down. Nope, get down. Nope, you've been bad boy today. Get down. Yeah, he got meatloaf today. Oh, my God. So, I took our son to like 7-Eleven late after school. And he had like money that he had saved from whatever. And then he had like four bucks. And then he had like a special where you get two pieces of pizza and a big gulp for like $3.99. I ended up having only pay like eight cents because he only had four bucks. So he came home, he starts eating, he, he walks away. Lucky pounces up, eats the rest of his pizza. Fast forward to like when Jamie's mom and dad were like having dinner. This little son of a bitch decides to help himself to a big chunk of meatloaf. Not once, but twice. So he gets nothing. He's a bad boy. He's been a bad boy today. Not a good boy. He just don't give a fuck. No, he don't give a fuck. He don't care. Jamie, say it. Tastes great. Yeah. No, stop. I'm going to hold your foot. Stop it. You ready for bed? Because we uh, we got some cleaning uh, up. Yeah, because I have work. At, We're still early. Early in the morning. Yeah, early. It's only 1230. Still, I have work early in the morning. <sighs> lucky boy oh. gets lucky a lot. Yes, he does. He's uh, Lucky boy helps himself to everything. Yeah. Whether it's welcome to him or not. He Are just takes it. Are you on Friday? No, I'm working Friday. I Shit. told you that. Okay, so we'll probably have the same night tomorrow night, too. But, but yeah, we no, will they called me in, so I'm we like, will I'll see go. You, uh, we will see you guys tomorrow night. 
thank you for hanging out with us and um he got the hot dog last night he did Jim. he got the hot dog last night he got the freaking pizza crust today he got the freaking meatloaf today he gets nothing lucky gets nothing lucky <laughs> lucky's about to be unlucky <laughs> how do you deal with age i mean not being young anymore that's the thing how do you do it? I don't know. I just kind of like go with the flow at this point. Like, what else can I do? Well, what I'll, else can you do? I'll give you my honest answer. I'm 38 years old, right? I'm nowhere near um, where a 38 year old should be. I'm like 15 years behind. <laughs> so, regardless of my age, I still feel like I'm in my 20s and fucking up. I'll tell you right now, I don't feel like I'm 40. It's just, Unless I go to the trampoline place, then I feel like I'm 40. But on every other day, I don't feel like I'm 40. <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like I'm in like my early 30s. Like I don't feel like. I feel like I skipped over everything I'm supposed to know, and I just don't know. That's why I say I feel like I'm 15 years behind. Hello, Grim. What's Isn't up, it the cuties? Hey, Mama well, Frog. Thank you. Hello, Mama Frog. All right. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> good night, good night. Yeah, we're going night-night, guys. Have a good night. Mm -mm. <laughs>